So Steve, my final question for you is what three specific tips you can give to job seekers in terms of elevating their job search? Uh, I don't know, maybe this, uh, these tips might be different during the COVID-19 or during the regular time. So uh, like to know what your thoughts are about this. Okay, and, and my tips, I guess, have come from my own journey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They've come from my own journey with this. And I remember I was sitting in a, I was working with an executive coach and he said, you can call me anytime during our engagement. I'm thinking you're on, he said, 24 seven, I'm here for you. I'm thinking, what am I going to call you for? And, uh, anyhow, one day I find myself at home and I'm thinking about my future and all this stuff. And I call him, I said, Keith, I need you, buddy. And I came over and I started ball. I was crying. I'm sitting in his office and uh, he said, what's wrong? He says, and, and I say, I know I have a purpose. I just don't know what it is. I feel like I'm just here in the ocean drifting and I've, I've got, I don't know where to go. And so my, my number one tip is to define your purpose yes. and know what it is clearly. And, you know, I looked at Keith and I said to him at that time, I said, Keith, I just, I know I have a purpose. I know everyone does. I just, I don't know what it is. And he says to me, Steve, at least, you know, yeah. and that just gave me a sense of peace. And I wish I could tell you or the viewer, you watching that it happened like that. It took me a couple of years to find it, but to know what your purpose is, because mm. that way, when you're looking for a job, you know that, okay, is this taking me towards my purpose yeah. or is it taking me away from my ultimate purpose in life, right? Not just in work. What is your purpose here? And I believe each of us is, has, uh, is here for a purpose. And, you know, if you think, you know, st absolutely straight ahead is towards my purpose, your purpose, going in this direction, maybe 30 degrees off, but still in the direction of your purpose that can still, you, at least you, it's getting me in the direction or where I want to go, right? So number one is that. Number two is have a healthy sense of knowing what your skills and talents are. Like really just what are those top three gifts that you have? What are those skills that you have that you uniquely bring to the world? These are the things that when you do them, time flies. Things that when you do them, you just love it. Things that when you do them, you feel energized and you could do more of them. Know what they are. Mm -hmm. And we talk about alignment. To me, when you are in a job search, you want to have those lined up with the types of skills that you know the employer is going to be uh, giving you. And, and if you can't tell stories about, and, and you want to tell stories about each of these gifts that you have, and as you tell stories to an employer about you using your gifts, and if they don't value those types of skills or gifts, don't be disappointed if you don't get the job, because there's a place that you probably wouldn't get to use those skills or gifts the way you'd like to. So one, be clear about your purpose. Mm -hmm. Two, uh, know and, and, um, and, uh, and understand what your gifts and, and skills are. And three, build a regular gratitude practice. Exactly. You know, when I talk about your gifts and your skills, like three, what are you grateful for? Mm -hmm. Like reflect on the, the gifts and the skills that you have and the, and the others and all around you. Just continue to build that gratitude practice because there's gonna be days when you're out there and you think, yes, this is the perfect job. And I nailed the interview and I got it. And then you get a call. It's like, no, the, mm. Steve, we really appreciate you coming in. We really thought you were great, but there was another candidate yeah. or they made another decision. We like, you're going to have those days. Yes. So having that gratitude practice is going to help you. It's not going to make it all go away. Yeah. It's going to help you deal with those days. And do you think that uh, career coaches are important for job seekers at any time? You know, to me, it's always something that is, you know, be, being able to get the advice, the, the que you know, the questions that others ask. And sometimes the people closest to you aren't in a, they, 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 they like and love you too much to tell you the truth. And, and so a coach or a, somebody who's been there and done it before 
is really, really valuable to have because they'll ask you questions about yourself to get you, you know, they, they, they won't have all the answers either, but they'll help you uncover the answers inside of you. So I, to me, I always make myself available because that, that conversation I had with Keith yeah. almost 20 years ago, just how important it was for me you know, because uh, that's exactly where I went when you told me what are the top three tips. And so having Keith as a coach really helped me through that process. And thank you for sharing those three tips, Steve, with me and with the audience. And with that, my interview with you comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to answer the questions. And for the audience watching or listening, please like and share the video, reach to us, to our social platforms, and tune in next time for another great interview I'm preparing for you guys. And again, Steve, thank you very much, and hope we can meet one day. Yes, thank you, Mahara. I really appreciate it. Thanks thank for you. all the work you're doing. Bye-bye.